Hey y'all, this is Vicki Van Hess with Fathom Realty here in Waxahachie, Texas. If you are like me and have a dog or dogs and enjoy taking them with you to places around town, this is a video for you. Grace is our German Shepherd and she loves to go with us. So we have found many places here in Waxahachie that are dog friendly and she goes with us often. Stick with me and I will go through a list of at least 20 places in Waxahachie that are dog friendly. I debated on the best method for sharing this information with you. Should I group these by type of store? So pet store, feed store, shopping, restaurants, or uh, should I do by location? North side of town, south side of town, downtown. I've decided to do a little bit of both. So we're gonna go through the list uh, by type. And then at the end of the video, I have a couple of different maps where I've marked up and indicated locations of some of these places. So you can kind of plan and map out a visit for yourself. So let's get started. Please do me a favor, like this video and subscribe to my channel where I will share information about Waxahachie, Texas, Ellis County, location south of Dallas on a weekly basis. So first of all, before you take your dog anywhere, they're gonna need to be on a leash or if they're a small dog, maybe in a carrier, when you take them into a business. Some businesses do have size restrictions, so you might wanna do some research of your own if you have a large dog as we do. However, most of the places that I'm gonna tell you about are large dog friendly because we've been there. Your dog needs to be well-mannered and respond to your commands for your safety, the dog's safety, the safety of other people and other animals. Grace has been through many different training opportunities. We started her out at one of the local pet stores and did a couple of puppy classes. As we've worked with her and moved on, we've had other professional trainers work with her on very specific things. So if you would like a recommendation for a trusted local trainer, drop a comment down below in the comments and I'll share with you who we've used who has really helped Grace overcome some anxiety. The first place many people think of taking a dog on an outing is a pet store, and that's awesome. We have a pet smart here in Waxahachie and they will welcome you and your dog. So that might be a good place for you to start. Our pet smart offers a grooming salon as well as dog training classes. So as I was just talking about above, if you think your pet could benefit from some training, check out PetSmart as well as carrying a large selection of dog food, treats, toys, leashes, collars, um, and they carry items for other species as well. So number one on our list, PetSmart. Did you know that feed stores and farm and ranch supply stores are also dog friendly? Besides Grace, we have 12 chickens, one cat, and one lamb that my daughter's showing for FFA. So we are in and out of feed stores and farm and ranch supply stores weekly. Grace loves to go with us. Boyce Feed and Grain and Art Country Store are two of our small local feed stores that we visit often. These stores are smaller and they're generally quieter than the bigger farm and ranch stores in town. If you're just starting out with your dog, trying to train them and get them accustomed to being out in the public, try going to a small feed store. It's a really great place to start. They're dog friendly and there won't be a whole lot of activity to overstimulate your dog. At Boys Feed, we have found that there are samples of different types of dog foods left there by vendors. And so we can bring a little package of different kinds of dog food home for Grace to try. So she knows she's always going to get a yummy treat when we leave Boys. Atwood's Ranch and Home Supply is a much larger store than our two little feed stores. It's kind of a one-stop shop for us. So if we are needing a variety of items for all of our animals, a lot of times we'll start at Atwood's. Grace is so familiar with Atwood's, she can take you straight to the dog section of the store. And then, even more specifically, straight to where the pig's ears are, because those are her favorite treats.
Tractor Supply Company is another major feed store chain that we have here in Waxahachie. The thing that I appreciate about our tractor supply with dogs is that they have their very own dog washing station in the store. So for $10, you pay to bathe your dog at their store. They have two large uh, shampoo sinks that can accommodate small dogs up to large dogs. Grace weighs about 55 to 60 pounds and she easily fits in their sink. Um, they provide shampoo, they provide conditioner. After the bath, you can use one of their two dog grooming stands and the blow dryers uh, to make sure you get them blown dry before you leave. So if you're a person who prefers to do your own bathing and grooming, check out Tractor Supply. I go there because it is very hard on my back to bend over in my bathtub at home and try to bathe our dog. If you're not a person who likes grooming your own dog, then by all means, call up PetSmart and book a grooming appointment. So this takes care of the first five places on my list. Building supply stores are often pet friendly. We have Home Depot, number six, and Lowe's, number seven, on my list, and both are dog friendly. Many of the store associates will greet you and will greet your dog by name if you visit often enough. We visit often enough. Most places they know who Grace is. Do you like shopping for antiques, vintage items, and collectibles like I do? That's my hobby. If so, you and your dog need to visit the Red Barn Flea Market. The owners of the Red Barn have their own dog on premises quite often, so just let them know that you're going to be there shopping with your dog, and they will put their dog up in the office. I have found many great deals at the Red Barn. Generally, the aisles are wide enough to make it comfortable to shop with a large dog on a leash. So they're number eight. Much to my surprise, number nine on the list is Hobby Lobby, and it's dog friendly. I was very nervous the first time my daughter took Grace into Hobby Lobby. Grace loves to wag her big long tail and I just knew that she was going to knock something off of a shelf and break it. But guess what? She didn't. Success. She's been in Hobby Lobby more than once. If you can't find what you need at Hobby Lobby, you can also take your dog into Tuesday morning. This is a new discovery for us. We've not visited Tuesday morning with Grace yet but that is on our list to do soon because I enjoy looking for special unique things at Tuesday morning. So again, Tuesday morning in Waxahachie is dog friendly. That's number 10, halfway through. The next store on our list is TJ Maxx. Also kind of unexpected that your dog can enter, but we took Grace into our TJ Maxx this weekend and it was a great experience. We love shopping for dog toys at TJ Maxx. We always find top quality toys for really good prices there. So check out TJ Maxx. The final store on my list, number 12, is actually a place that we visit often, and that's Academy Sports and Outdoors. Grace has been visiting Academy since early, early in her training. The store employees and the customers always ask if they can pet her. So she's always very happy when we go into Academy. Now that we have covered places to shop, how about we look at places to eat? Many places with patios will allow you to dine with your dog as long as you sit on the patio. Sometimes you need to do some advanced planning though. If the dog is only allowed on the patio and isn't able to go into the restaurant for you to place your order, what are you gonna do? Will you go with someone who can go in and order while you wait? That works very well for us at the Farm Look downtown. They have tables placed out on the sidewalk and my daughter and Grace will wait outside while I go in, place the order, wait for the order, then I bring the food out and we enjoy our meal while we watch what's going on in downtown Waxahachie. So Farm Luck is number 13. At Fresh Market Coffee, number 14, and White Rhino Coffee, number 15, you can take your dog in and place your order at the counter. Once you've placed and received your order, you do need to go out to the patio, though, to enjoy your coffee or your scone and to socialize. Both of these places provide a great space to visit with your dog and to meet with friends. Yep. So 
but just go on through to the patio. Number 16 is the College Street Pub. They have a dog-friendly patio as long as your dog is cat-friendly. They have cats that live and hang out on the patio. This is a great spot to take your dog. We saw three different cats hanging out on the patio when we enjoyed lunch there the other day. Thanks to Grace's training, she was able to acknowledge that there were cats on the patio, but then she rested comfortably under the table while we ate. The food there is delicious and they have a large selection of quality beers, including locally brewed options. They also offer live entertainment on certain days throughout the year. So that's a good one to follow. We have a brand new Southern Roots Brewing Company that just opened here in Waxahachie uh, at the first of the year. It's in a refurbished train building located in the downtown area, and we've not had a chance to visit, but I made a quick phone call and I did confirm that they do allow dogs both inside their restaurant or out on the patio. They said as long as they're not in the kitchen, they're welcome. They offer craft brews, signature pizzas, and they also have an on-site brewery. So this is definitely another place on our list to visit with Grace very soon. And that's number 17. Speaking of breweries, we have another fabulous local brewery called Railport Brewing Company. Railport is only open in the evenings and on weekends and dogs are welcome everywhere on the grounds. They have a great taco truck parked on property for food and they have locally crafted beers and offer live music on the weekends. Grace always makes a ton of friends when we visit Railport. If you are in the mood for a great burger and fries or onion strings, get yourself and your dog down to Pop's Burgers. They have a walk-up order window and plenty of outdoor seating for dining with your dog. They also have seating indoors, but I'm not sure if dogs are allowed indoors because we always sit outside with Grace when we go there. On Thursday nights, they offer a classic car cruise-in from 6 to 8 p.m. where many locals with classic cars come together and enjoy a meal. We just got our 67 Mustang Bluebird running again. I foresee a Thursday night cruise in with Grace and Bluebird in the future when it warms up again. That's number 19. Now for number 20. If you like tacos, Tacos for Life has a pet friendly patio. In the past, we have either gone through the drive through placed our order and then enjoyed our lunch on the patio, or one person again has stayed on the patio with Grace while another person goes in to place the order and to bring the food out. It's really another great option for dining with your dogs. So there's my 20. However, there are two more places that we have taken Grace. They are both seasonal and they're located on the same property. Snow Biz is number 21 and Taco Suave is number 22. Both offer walk-up windows and picnic tables where you can sit. We've been visiting Snow Biz for many, many years. It's the perfect treat on a hot summer day here in Texas. I'm sure there are other places where you can take your dog in Waxahachie. These are the ones that we are familiar with. We also enjoy taking Grace to our local city parks and walking trails. And we used to visit the Waxahachie Dog Park, which is currently under construction. We are excited about the improvements that are being done to the dog park, and we will be frequent visitors when they open it again. It's located right off of one of the main walking trails downtown. Now that you know about all of these fun places, let's look at a couple of maps and get an idea of where you should plan on taking your dog to visit. We're going to start on the north side of town. Atwoods is the furthest north of the businesses that I've talked about. It's a short drive down Highway 77 to Waxahachie Marketplace. At Waxahachie Marketplace, you and your dog can shop at Academy Sports, TJ Maxx, and Tuesday Morning. And then you can pop in and enjoy lunch at Tacos for Life while you're there. These businesses are all north of Highway 287, off of Highway 77 in Waxahachie. <clears throat> Lowe's, Home Depot, Tractor Supply, and Hobby Lobby are all very close to the Highway 287-77 intersection, with Hobby Lobby and Tractor Supply located next door to each other on the south side of 287. They share a parking lot. 
Lowe's and Home Depot are on the north side of 287, and they're actually across the street from each other. But they're very convenient to visit all of them, you know, in one day. In the downtown area, you have Art Country Store, Fresh Market Coffee, Boyce Feed and Grain, the Red Barn Flea Market, Southern Roots Brewing Company, Real Port Brewery, Pops Burgers, and Farm Luck within a few blocks of each other. College Street Pub and White Rhino are also in that same general area. So again, a lot of different places if you just wanted to spend an afternoon cruising around downtown, lots of places that you and your dog can go. As you can see, Waxahachie is a great place to live if you're a dog lover. Do you know of any other dog-friendly businesses in town that I skipped? If so, please share those in the comments below. I hope that you've already liked my video and that you've subscribed to my channel. If not, please subscribe now. You know you want to. There is a link below to provide this list of dog-friendly places to visit in Waxahachie. Click to get your copy. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.